welcome back to another weekend vlog. Um, yeah, I've had an interesting morning. I've um, had a bit of a hoo-ha with my uh, Hermes delivery guy. Like, what? He was the grumpiest asshole. So what happened was I ordered some, Je the new Jeffree Star liquid lip, not liquid lip, liquid liners. Not, they're not liquid. I ordered the Jeffree Star new velour lip liners and I ordered them at like the end of September and highlighters that they're bringing out. And I knew they weren't getting shipped till like the like beginning, middle of October. Um, and I'd seen like people were posting, oh, I've got mine, it looks great. And I'm like, oh, where the hell's mine? Cause I ordered it on the day it got released. I tweeted Beauty Bay. And they said, oh, it's been delivered today. I was like, oh my God, amazing. Um, hadn't got a Hermes email or text or anything like that. Nothing. So I was a bit like, well, that's really weird. Because usually I get a text or something. Because um, believe it or not, I order quite a lot of things online. And, you know, my Hermes guy knows what he's doing. So I said, oh, tweeted Beauty Bay. Can you please send me the tracking details? And they did. And I looked at the tracking details and it said, has been left in your green bin. And I was like, uh, what? My Hermes guy never leaves stuff in the green bin. Like I have a shed and he knows where to put it and that's where he's put all my other stuff. So why has he started doing that? Anyway, I get home. I look in my green bin. Well, guess what? No delivery. Uh message beauty bay and i said look i'm not being funny but uh-uh nah um so they said oh well we'll start an investigation and see where it is banging great cheers for that guess what happens today friggin hermes guys knocking on my door and he's like uh excuse me you've um reported that you've not got a parcel and i put it in that shed i said oh right okay well it wasn't in my shed well, I put it in my shed. You know I always put it in that shed. I said, yeah, I know you do, which is why I'm really confused. I put the little ticket in your door like I always do to let you know it's in the shed. Yeah, but it didn't say it was left in my shed. It says it was left in the green bin. Well, I never put things in your green bin. Yeah, I know. He was really cross, really aggressive. And I was like, mate, can you not? So that was like, did not expect to be having, you know, that shit going on I was really like who the hell does this guy think he is coming to my house and yelling at me and accusing me of like getting him in trouble which to be fair I have but don't put parcels in the wrong bins mate so anyway he stands there arguing with me for about 10 minutes and I'm not happy because obviously it's not my fault that it's gone missing anyway I got my phone out and I showed him this picture of like it being put in a green bin and he said, I'd never put it in your green bin. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But look, it says here. Well, I've been to your house twice this week and I've definitely put two items in there. And I said, yeah, but this is the third item. This is the third thing. Oh, oh, right. Well, I've only been here twice this week. Yeah, well, I should have had three deliveries this week. Oh, oh, well, I wonder if I've put it in somebody else's bin. Yeah, well, that would explain why it's not in my shed. Oh, right, okay, I'll walk around and, you know, go and investigate. I was like, good, because I ain't frigging doing it, sunshine. So off he plods, goes to have a look in uh, this other bin that he thinks he might have put it in. And he comes back to me and he says, oh, they're not in. I've left them a note with my number on it, um, telling them to ring me if they've got it. And I thought, oh, well, yeah, that's great if they've gone on holiday for two weeks, isn't it? That's about it. That's That's been my morning. <laughs> <laughs> on oh, a cut Richard's hair um my friend Richard and we are gonna go over and see his new house because he finally became an adult and he bought our house isn't it amazing it's so weird having friends that are like actually grown up now I mean, like I have friends with children and like you know jobs over 20 grand a year and it's crazy crazy times so yeah, we're going to go look at his and Helen's new house and I'm sure it's lovely. I think he's a bit stressed about it because it is stressful moving house, isn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> something I thought about as well, like 
because I've been like, oh my God, I'm going to be so stressed out. I have to work. I have to rehearse for this musical. I have to rehearse for the band. I have to gig with the band. And I was like, do you know what? It's totally fine. I managed to do it last year when, um, you know, I was working full time and moving house and rehearsing in Wakefield for Avenue Q. And do you know what? I did it. My hair's stuck. Uh, and I, I did it. I survived, you know? I didn't, like, freak out and, you know, have a meltdown. <laughs> so it should be a lot easier because... Uh, I'm a lot more relaxed in the band now, obviously. I know what I'm doing and, you know, it's totally fine. So I think I might have to drop a day at work though, or a morning at work at least, like, because I'm just going to be exhausted. And like, maybe if I could just have Friday mornings off just so that I can like have a nice lie in and maybe get a few jobs done and like a bit of me time, like that would be really cool. Um, this is the beauty of being self-employed, like, you're not allowed to have your hours dictated to you that you work, so that is one joy of being self-employed. <laughs> have any of you guys ever been self-employed? Like, do you like it? Do you, are you, does it scare you? Like, it scares me sometimes because I'm like, oh my god, if nobody's booked in, I'm not taking a wage home today. Like, that's a really scary thing to think about. Ugh. Ow, oh, that was my neck. Did you hear that? I realise I have a lot of makeup on for like a Saturday afternoon. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just popping around to my friend's house, but I just filmed a video. So if you like this makeup look, make sure you uh, hang around to see my new makeup video <laughs> that's coming out. I need to cut my fringe again, don't I? It's got really, really long. Right, I'm going to go have a cup of tea, get changed and get ready to go to Richard's. I hope he's gonna let me show you his new house because it's amazing. Well, from what I've seen in the photos, it looks amazing. So hopefully he'll let us uh, show you around a little bit. Oh my God, I'm gonna wear my pink jeans because so many of you commented and messaged me saying, I can't believe you didn't show us your pink jeans. <laughs> so I'll go put them on now so you can have a look. Please ignore the mess behind me, but here are my pink jeans. They look, they don't look really pink. They look, they still look white, don't they? <laughs> I promise you they are pink. It's just the natural daylight. Okay, so the issues I'm having, as you can see, <laughs> I bought the wrong size. Like I'm usually a 28 in the leg. These are a 30 and, I'll, and I've like rolled them up, but they still look ridiculous. But I don't know. They're, they're all right, I guess, but they look really wrinkly. <laughs> But I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Um, I'm sorry this is not like the best view of them. Maybe they look better outside. Do I dye them again or do I go back and buy the right size? Because they really do look ridiculous, don't they? Like, yeah, they they look ridiculous. They look like wrinkly penises. I don't know. Um, I've lost two pounds this week on Slimming World. Um, well, actually, it's not even been a week. What day is it? Saturday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four days I've lost two pounds. So... Yeah, uh, I guess I'm doing it right again, which is good. Right, I need to go. My lift's going to be here any second. So I'll see you at Richard's house, hopefully. Um, those of corpses. Yeah, so oh, all the wet, what? All, all the wet bits were behind furniture, which is why it never got seen. Yeah. Which is a bit annoying. And also, it has been the incredibly warm summer, hasn't yeah, it? So, so you know that. We didn't know what he knew. Uh, check out this one. It's massive. Oh. To be fair, though, I still think... It is rosy. Lovely door. Look at that. It's beautiful. When do you think it was built? It's very retro. Two cellars. I'm not going down. I'm scared. What? It's like two two rooms. Is it scary? It looks like most haunted. Looks like what? You know that program, most haunted. Yeah, it's just like a creepy rape cellar. <laughs> if you want to come for a shower or a tub on this side of the house, you've got to go all the way down. So you can't just... Are you going to knock it from upstairs as well to get we a floor? Not, we not might do. Yeah, not yet. That might be what I do. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. So it's two houses, but one really? Yeah. Whoa. Um, so this is the biggest room. Our plans... Are... Is this the biggest room in the house? Bedroom. Yeah, it is, yeah. So the plans for this Ooh. room are to knock this wall down and make a big open sort of ensuite area. That sounds good. That shower's that, gonna become a big walk-in shower. That room is way too big. Yeah, yeah. What the? Okay. 
That's crazy. The walls are very thick, aren't they? It's because it's all sand. It's all sandstone. Mm. Look at that view. So how do you get into them sheds then? There's a the class difference. View. No, no, oh it's um, <laughs> See the original colour of the carpet before the fade? Jesus. That's insane. Wow. Did you, we went to look at a house where it had like a walkway around the bed, didn't it? Do you yeah, remember the carpet was like worn pretty. away? Yeah, it was worn away around This has just been bleached by the sun. Yeah. Because wow. it's south facing, so I don't yeah. know how this room got bleached. So because weird. That's, that's where it gets the most sunlight. I recognise this wallpaper. I'm sure I have, I've had friends that it's have had this like wall. I think it was Laura Keating. Yeah. Just like it. The border don't even match it. Oh. Oh, it's exciting! That's actually... Whoa! Pretty, pretty What's... Uh, why? I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I bet you get a proper as full as wind as off that. that. So, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't wow. believe it. it ne and it, it never got mentioned when we were yeah. looking around it. How could they not mention it? Exactly. That would be a selling feature, surely. <laughs> Good morning! Guess what? My Hermes man, he finally delivered my package. I'm so excited, I can't wait to try it. It is the new Jeffree Star lip liner and Jeffree Star special highlighter, the new one. I'm beside myself, I'm so happy it's here. So when we got home yesterday from seeing Richard, there was a little note pushed through the door and it said, it's at the house next door, very sorry about the mistake. So all is forgiven. Forgive him for telling me off yesterday. Right, let's get this open. Oh, please don't be smashed. Please. Free. It's not smashed! Yay! It's so pretty. Oh, it's disappointing. Oh, it's really disappointing. Oh, well. Right, well, can't really judge it on a swatch. Um, It looks really chunky and glittery. But, never mind. Hello, it's Sunday afternoon, just heading out to a singing gig with the band. Dan's just got home from work and he said that this was on his uh, screen, on his car. It says, hi, if you ever want to sell your car, please let me know. Darren. <laughs> I look very tired today. Um, We're going to, oh, hi, it's the next day. Gig went really well last night and I opened that Jeffree Star stuff for you and I decided to film a video on it, so just stay tuned for that, um, if it's not already up. Um, yeah, the gig was really good. Louise wasn't there, which was a bit rubbish, but it went okay to say she wasn't. Um, I think Stott only dropped his stick once. Hey. <laughs> That's the drummer. We were gonna go see A Star Is Born, but I think we've got too much to do. Like, I have to go to the wholesalers, do you want these? Uh, just pop them in. Okay. Uh, I have to go to the wholesalers. Dan needs to get what for the car? Some various clips. Clips, clips for the car. Stuff on. Um, and we need some more coat hangers because I'm going to tackle that pile of ironing today. What did you say about me buying clothes online? That's why we've got no coat hangers. Because <laughs> of all the damn random shit you've been buying online. It's not random shit, it's nice clothes. It is random shit. <laughs> Oh, it's nice clothes. Anyway, so we're not going to go see A Star Is Born, which I'm really sad about, but... You could see it if you wanted. Plenty no. I've got too much shit to do. We'll probably go see it one night this week, won't we? Wednesday, maybe? Wednesday, maybe. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ready to drive? Yeah, ready to go drive. On. Boom, boom. Oh, that does look quite nice, though. That colour. But it's just the arm. Yeah. Short. Although I like the fit of it. But can I get a small but a medium art? Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't, that's quite nice actually. But if you wore blue jeans it wouldn't look right, would it? No. Uh, no, actually I think I can live with these arms. Yeah, because if you've got a jumper on you'd... Yeah. No, okay, go for a small. Okay. Yeah. Do they have Christmas things? in Matalan. Unicorn things. <gasps> Christmas! Christmas! 
Do people actually have like tea towels for Christmas? Like some special sad, things? Some sad for will. Oh look, they've got coat hangers here. Let's just see how much they are. Five coat hangers for three pounds. That's a bit of a rip, isn't it? Should we go try being in? Yeah. Look, we can get mega little Christmas buddy in. <laughs> Do you put the tail through there? How does that work? It looks just like you, Danny. <laughs> what? Why would you buy this for your house? Because it's Christmasy. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's only quid though. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll do it too. <laughs> Coat hangers. Eight for three quid. That's better, isn't it? They're rich. They're proper 80s looking, aren't they? Five for two quid. That's me and you when we've been to Nando's. It's insane the amount of Christmas things they've got over Halloween, isn't it? Well, I know that as soon as Halloween, everyone's charging towards Halloween now, and then when Halloween's done, it's just charged for Christmas. Isn't yeah. It? How have you never seen Hocus Pocus? That. I've watched it before. <sighs> Were you a child of the 90s or not? Yeah, but I wasn't a Disney child, you must realise this. Yeah, but everybody's seen Hocus Pocus. I probably have at some point. Oh, Dan, this is not good for our relationship. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. It smells like you've been under a car all night, you know. Why do you look so angry all the time? Mm hmm? She always looks grumpy. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Dan bought that orange coat because, well, is it orange? It's tan, isn't it? Yeah. He, uh, he bought it, so it looks really nice. So we're all set now. Have all the waterproof things. I think you're gonna need some gloves and a hat though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be very, very cold in Paris in December. I think it's finally sunk in that I'm gonna be playing Sarah in uh, our house. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody that said congratulations on the comments last week. It was really, really nice to see it. And thank you for commenting and saying the nice things. It made me feel really good. Um, so yeah, thanks for that guys. You made my day. <laughs> so TK Maxx is full of really good candles at the moment. I have my white pumpkin from DW Home, which is the best in my opinion. If you can find one, then make sure you pick one up because they're so good. Um, but actually in Sainsbury's, they've started selling the Mould Wine Airwick plugins. Oh my god, best thing ever. So we've got that plugged in. But you've switched it off, haven't you? I've I turned it, it down. Mm -mm. He's lying. He always turns it down. Because he doesn't like the smell of it very much. Do you? It's alright, but you get used to it and then... It stops being Christmassy. Yeah. I look knackered today. Bags under my eyes are terrible. I need to go to bed. I might go have a nap. No, we're going to watch Hocus Pocus, aren't we? Yeah. And I'm going to band practice. So, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.